So, what you're trying to say is that you fell here from another world? But when you wanted to leave and go on to the next world, your path was blocked by some unknown god? Outlanders, your journey ends here. Who are you? The sustainer of heavenly principles. The irrigation of mankind ends now. Just like that, the god took away my brother. Some kind of seal was cast upon me, and I lost my power. So whilst we used to cross world after world, we are now trapped here. How many years ago was it? I don't know. But I intend to find out. After I awoke, I was all alone. Right up until I met you two months ago. Yeah, Paimon really owes you for that. Otherwise, Paimon likely would have drowned. So Paimon will do her best to be a great guy. We should head off. Let's get going. Hey everyone, welcome back to a brand new episode of Genshin Impact and uh, man, these soothing graphics are just insane even without a graphic card um, even though I'm playing with the, with the iGPU in my system but, in, but anyways so, first of all, I wanna do is that uh, the thing is the rock you're seeing um, right right there in front of us yeah there is a exquisite chest and uh, many, many players don't know that but uh, I get to know that uh, from a from one of the YouTube videos so yeah um, kind of a cheat code not a cheat code but um, yeah kind of feels like cheating but um, it is what it is and I'm gonna get it so it contains quite good material Oh, my stamina is about to be drained, so... And yeah, I have a... Uh, in one, one of my other accounts, I have progressed very far in the in, in, in the storyline, and uh, I'm in the land of Inazuma. But uh, that's it for... 
spoilers. I'm on the spoiling. Is this very an much from this world? So hey, we got some artifacts. So you need to equip these artifacts in order to like um, power up your power up your character. And most likely the things like applying mods on your weapons like in Warframe but uh, these are actually our equipment so let's check it out so we have a sword a starting sword a bow um what are those um some yeah level up crystals and this is the character menu yeah artifacts okay i'm gonna equip it number one so these artifacts have different types of um, abilities like some increase your critical chance or critical hit and um, some increase your HP some allow you to recover HP so these are quite helpful but anyways uh, yeah if uh, anybody's new and is still sticking to the video yeah consider subscribing dude um, it helps a lot it helps the channel a lot and uh, your single subscription does help a lot I mean it does encourage me to make more video videos and uh, who doesn't want to do what he loves I do so subscribe to the channel okay um, so we can use our mouse for attacks okay this is the combat test and I'm gonna rip it oh yeah take that nice we got some XP or maybe not okay I teleport me point the most fantastic thing about these things is that um, this reminds me of uh, Sora Online which the creator of this game specifically specifically um, try to do I mean try to recreate Sora online like Wordle and um, to be honest uh, he's kind of uh, what should I say um, successful in that regard and uh, another game is being uh, produced which would be Guess we'll just have to climb. oh yeah let me Climbing just recover my stamina. stamina and depleted stamina takes time to recover I know Paimon I know okay. Let's take the route we planned. We're well, off to a statue of the seven. Sure. Okay. Paimon is Which like. Which um, are you looking for exactly? <sighs> Damn it. Okay. Let me collect some fruits so that um, in need we can up our health a bit. Okay. What is important message? Hmm. Must be some world. Oh yeah, these are world details. And uh, these pictures look quite awesome. Anyways, I was saying that uh, uh, you might have heard about the company Neuralink, which is um, owned by Elon Musk, and uh, he actually developed a chip, or that company developed the chip which can be used by chimpanzees to create or play games with their minds without using any um, any other any other hardware joystick or anything so it is tested and um, i don't know when the human testings are going to take, take place but uh, it's in uh, it's in motion and uh, just a moment i think it's uh, yep it's a cutscene Man, this is beautiful. That's a statue of the Seven. There are a few of these statues scattered across the land to show the Seven's protection over the world. Among the Seven Gods, this god controls the wind. Paimon's not sure whether the god you're looking for is the animal god, but... Paimon will take you hmm. to the animal god's place first, and there's a reason why. Okay, yeah, sure, no problem. Well... 
Paimon, the outlier who called the wind. Nice. Best As we all know, poetry and language flow like the wind. There'll definitely be someone there who knows about your brother. At least that's what Paimon thinks. Whether the gods actually answer you is a different story. You never know unless you try. Indeed. So let's hop to it. Okay, sure. Well, the thing is, I don't believe in in these things which are being told in this game, and it's just fictional. And uh, yeah, I don't believe in it. Almighty Allah. And uh, the thing is, this game is basically like idol worship type of thing which these guys are doing. I'm not quite. Um, you can swim right over. I mean, it's a game. So let's treat it like a game. Anyways, I was talking about. Okay, I think it's another cutscene is about to pop up. Yep. Okay, so we got wind powers and we unlocked a certain amount of area. Hmm. So we can go to one set now. Oh, did you just feel the elements of the world? Indeed. Seems all you had to do was just touch the statue and you got the power of animal. Yep. As much as they may want it, people in this world can never get a hold of powers as easily as you. Obviously, because she is not from this world. You're not from this world to begin with. Ah. If we keep heading west Anyone from here, we'll eventually reach Mondstadt, the city of freedom. Mondstadt is the city of wind because they worship the god of animal. Mm -hmm. So perhaps because you got power from the god of animal, you can find some clues there. There are also lots of bards there, so perhaps one of them has heard news of your brother. Let's move then. The elements in this world responded to your prayers, and Paimon thinks that's a lovely sign. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. Okay, we got our elemental powers, and we can use elemental burst now. Oh yeah, feels good as always. powers you got from the Statue of the Seven. Mm-hmm. I know. Oh, Paimon's so jealous. Why doesn't Paimon get cool fighting powers? Oh, well, you're from this world, that is why. Okay, I was going to talk about... Uh, so we got... Oh, we got rewards from the game. Nice. Um, We'll use them later on in the game. But not. But for now, um, we aren't gonna use them. The fishes and gold. So I'll claim them all. And other wings, I think. Let's just head to Monstad now. We'll probably meet with Amber. It's about time. I mean. Okay. So I was saying that uh, the developer of this game, this game was uh, developing a new game which was to be played with the with the equipment of Sword Art Online and a game like Sword Art Online, a replica of it, a real world replica, was built by the Iron Crater thing. Um, the news is pretty old though but uh, the news regarding Neuralink is uh, quite new and um, the company is indeed developing it. I saw the tests. I mean, you can see them on the YouTube, the normal tests, I mean, the chimpanzee is controlling the game and playing the games. Um, I don't know when the human testing, um, human trials are going to take place, but uh, yeah, it's going to be awesome once they, once they happen, because uh, then we, are, we will be able to play games like um, like in the Sword Art Online, and I'm waiting for that. I mean, I'm a huge Sword Art Online fan, and uh, who doesn't want to play games like that? Everyone does. 
and it's going to be awesome to be honest. But recreating what they created in Sora and online is not easy and um, yeah. A reward on the road. Oh god. Oh, that? Yep, that's a dragon. Huge in the sky. I know I'm... it's headed towards the heart of the forest. We must proceed with caution. Indeed. Okay, this episode is go not going to be much um, much longer than 20 minutes or so and uh, the reason for that is uh, whenever I try to upload these things these take quite a lot of time and uh, yeah um, I don't want that I mean I had to wait uh, quite a lot Okay, I'll shut up now. Another cutscene. Huh? Look at that! <sighs> Don't be afraid. It's all right now. I'm back. Is he talking to a dragon? <gasps> <laughs> Who's there? of your hair thanks damn you paimon i'm gonna basically Just like the that? ai which we Whatever have uh, we were gonna get in eaten. warframe she just replaces, mm. replaces that it definitely has something to do with that weirdo who was talking to the dragon yeah paimon gets why you're worried oh what's that there's some kind of shiny red thingy on the big rock over there Hmm. Let's go take a closer look. Sure. Be careful. Paimon doesn't have a good feeling about this. I mean, it's an exploration game. That is what we have to do in this game. Let's see. Paimon's never seen a stone like this before, so Paimon can't tell what it is. All Paimon knows is that it's dangerous. Best we put it away for now. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've got it. Now let's get out of here. There's a conspiracy theory that uh, Paimon is a, is a god which entrapped us in this uh, in this in this world, um, and uh, who took us powers. And after using her own powers, um, her powers go, uh, got drained away from her body, and um, yeah, she shrinked in size, like in animals. What happens to fairies or stuff like that? Hey, you! Stop right there! Oh, it's Amber. May the Animo God protect you, stranger. I am Amber, outrider for the Knights of Favonius. You don't look like citizens of Mondstadt. Explain yourselves. Well, we're not looking for trouble. That's what all the troublemakers say. Doesn't sound like a local name to me. And this mascot, what's the deal with it? Hey, that's even worse than being a mascot! Haha! <laughs> so I mean, to sum it up, your traveling partner. Well, look, there's pretty been much a yes. large dragon sighted around Mondstadt recently. Best you get inside the city as soon as possible. It's not far from here. I'll escort you there. Yeah, sure. Oh, aren't you out here for some other reason? I am, but not to worry. I can keep you both safe while doing that too. Besides, mm -hmm. I'm still not sure Let's if I see. can trust you two just yet. Well, we can't trust you either. Can we? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Probably not something I should say as a knight. Yeah. I give you my apologies, uh, strange yet respectable travelers. 
That sounded so fake. Still, yep. Do you have something totally against fake. the type of language usage prescribed by the Knights of Havonius? Hit Indeed, I do. Anyways, none of you should think that we got her. So we can play as her now. Anyways, I was about to say that. Uh, don't you dare think that I selected the girl and I am a sick. I'm gonna kill you all. Seriously. Don't you freaking dare say that to me or in the comments. If you manage to watch the whole video, I mean, you might be annoyed by me, by so but so suspicious anyways. travelers. What are you doing in Mondstadt? She got separated from her brother during a really, really.